day two of the Paris Air Show, and it's all about speed. We'll hear shortly from Boom Supersonics' Blake Skull, but news today from Destinus, who unveiled the third demonstrator, Destinus 3, at the show. It's on a mission to launch the world's first commercial hypersonic passenger plane entirely powered by hydrogen quite early next decade, with a proposed cruising speed of Mach 5 and a capacity to accommodate 25 passengers. The Destinus S will fly from Paris to New York in 90 minutes. The company carried out engine tests just ahead of the show, and when the demonstrator flies next year for the first time, it's set to be the world's first hydrogen-powered supersonic manned vehicle. The company is moving also at hypersonic speed. We, we are pre quite new. We are in the market since a couple of years. We already demonstrated in Flight 3 demonstrator. We want to hit the market with uh, spin-off products uh, in the next years. And the ultimate products uh, with uh, hypersonic passenger transportation will be 15 years from now. Well, there's been a lot of media attention going on here because Boom has been announcing updates on its overture program, the supersonic aircraft. It's going to be with us in six years' time. I'm with Blake Skoll. Blake, tell us about the announcement today and what you're doing. Well, big news towards making an overture an airplane that we can all fly on. Uh, today, we have announced uh, the structural suppliers for overture, including Leonardo in the fuselage, Air Nova on the wing, and Asaturi on the tail. So we're really proud that the same people who build parts for large composite subsonic aircraft are helping us realize the supersonic future. Uh, additionally, uh, we've now revealed more details about the Symphony engine, which is the first engine uh, completely designed for sustainable uh, supersonic flight, including the initial production site for Symphony and our partners for that. And uh, we're taking the wraps off the airplane itself and showing a lot more detail about the systems configuration, everything that goes inside the airplane to make it safe, reliable, and efficient. Now, something you said earlier, which was really fascinating, Concorde, of course, competition against the US. You've taken a giant step for a global approach. Well, our vision is that supersonic flight will help make the world a smaller place, enable more people to go more places more often. And we think it's just really poignant that the team that is coming together to build Overture spans continents. After Airbus made its mega order announcement yesterday, it was no surprise that rivals Boeing and Embraer were capturing the order interest today. Embraer announced orders for 38 E-Jet and E-2 aircraft while Boeing finalized its Air India contract upping to 290 aircraft, including narrow and wide bodies. They also saw China Airlines become their first Dreamliner operator in the country. One order very firmly in the Boeing books was the multi-billion dollar deal from startup Riyadh Air. The new Saudi Arabian carrier lit up the show with its standout livery on a Dreamliner 787-9 on the Static Park. CEO Tony Douglas explained why he is so excited about the look. This one has created an internet sensation. It's been described as the most stunning aviation delivery uh, in history. It should be on the front pages of Vogue. And you know what? We love comments like that. And there was good news for some UK companies focusing on the drive towards greener air travel with a grant of more than £200 million. Britain's Industry and Economic Security Minister, Nusrat Ghani, met with the UK industry at the show to share the news of the funding. Congratulations is to the UK aerospace sector because they have been the leading lights when it comes to achieving new disruptive technology to enable us to reach our national and of course international targets of net zero or jet zero as we see it. In the UK we've got this phenomenal ecosystem where we're using innovative tech not only to deal with supply chains or data but also in how we're going to achieve the next level of fuel and how we're going to commercialise this and see this on commercial flights going forward. Elsewhere in the show today, Aeronautics unveiled the Orbiter 5, a new medium-altitude long-endurance UAV delivering a high-performance multi-mission, multi-payload capability, offering more than 25 hours endurance and a payload of more than 25 kilograms, all for a cost-effective price, the company said. And when it comes to the big money, it's all about the defence industry. And you're going to join us tomorrow for the show where we're going to be focusing on the defence business being done at the Paris Air Show. If you want the rest of the headline news, you can always go to our website, wearefin.com. Goodbye.